Yep, you all guessed it. Guess what, folks? Walmart has done it again, and they are in trouble once again. Uh, this overstock stuff is just killing the hell out of them. Um, it is taking down the stores, and they had to do this one particular thing this past week. And stay tuned, because we're going to cover it all next, and what it means for me and you come later on this year. Not a good thing, folks. So welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners and thank you for joining me on this video today. And what I want to cover today is something that took place this past week, which maybe a lot of you have already seen in the news and you've probably heard about it, but a lot of people haven't, all right? Walmart has done the unprecedented. The retail giant has canceled billions of dollars worth of orders for the rest of this year. And what that means for me and you, I'm going to get to in a minute after I cover this breaking news. From a lot of its suppliers and a bid to shrink its overstock crisis, it is crushing them, all this overstock that they have received. They don't know how to handle it. They can't move it. People don't have the money to buy it, so they're stuck with it. And what is that going to do? Well, it's going to cause all types of problems. A result of failing customers' demand, rising inflation, and supply chain issues and crisis has caused Walmart to go down this road and cancel billions of dollars worth of orders that they have placed for the upcoming holiday season and everything else. So what is going to happen here, folks? A lot of this stuff is all going to be just kept rolling out. They're going to tell you that it's all new and everything else. And wait till you hear about what is going to take place with the last in, first out type uh, scenario that is rolling around. The Walmart's chief financial officer said the company's warehouses are loaded with excess apparel, home goods, and electronics. That is, it's struggling to sell in recent months because people don't have the money for those kind of things. Their back to school and stuff is doing quite well, and it has took off in the South because the South is the first to go back to school, and the North is coming up. So a lot of the kids' apparel and stuff like that is probably starting to move, along with like backpacks shoes and back to school supplies all right so right now that's where they're making the money but where they're making most of their money right now is in food all right people are going in there and they're not shopping like they used to people aren't wandering around the stores they go in there because they can only afford the food right now they can't afford electronics and apparel and home goods and all this kind of kind of stuff you know, I mean, they're having to concentrate and come up with a plan because they have to make sure that they have food on the table. It's like you have to have, you know, a roof over your head. All right. In the recent months, you know, Target has also had to do this. Um, and Target is also doing, uh, they, they cut a bunch of their orders and everything else. But Walmart cuts are far larger scale and more. All right. So all these companies throughout the whole world well, this is probably really going to put a hurting on China, isn't it? I mean, China's probably going to shut down now because Walmart just cut, you know, a billion dollars worth of orders. So what does that mean? I mean, are the ships going to turn around and go back now? Uh, who knows what's going to take place here? But it's going to have a ripple effect across the whole world, you know, because they really don't buy much from here. It all comes from China, 90% of it. And so it's going to hurt their economy because, well... They're just a billion dollars down, aren't they? Now, on August 15th, Walmart had a call with a financial analyst to discuss their second quarter earnings. Walmart has about $1.5 billion in inventories still to this day. That is in overstock goods. The chief financial officer, uh, Rainey, he made a statement that if we could just wave a magic wand, we'd make it all go away today and put everything back in order and back to normal. Hello, buddy. Wake up. There's no such thing as normal anymore. Has anybody seen anything normal in any stores or anything normal going on in life since Charlie Victor 19 came to town? Nope, we haven't. Yet another reason why you need to be prepared. All right. Walmart estimates that the inventory crisis is still over 15% above its optimal levels. We also canceled billions of dollars in orders to help align our inventory levels with expected demand. So you know what they're ordering. 
They're ordering the stuff that people are buying. That's all they're ordering. Anything else, no, they're not ordering. So they're trying to stay on track with all their food products and all that kind of stuff. And probably basing it all around back to school right now, they're probably all hoping for a big bang on the back to school to get, you know, as much money as possible. Now they talk about this um, later on down in the article, which will be pinned below so you guys can go in and read it because it's a very long article. So you guys can go in there. I'm just pulling out some highlights. They talk about the last in, first out matches the rising price to acquire inventory against revenues. In times of high inflation, last in, first out elevates the inventory profit that would result in old inventory purchase at a lower price was used to calculate profits today. Thus, the last in, first out depresses current margins, but also results in a tax savings for Walmart. You see, they have all these, uh, you know, analysts, they have all these lawyers, they have all this type of stuff. And this way here, they can figure out all the loopholes, how they can make money and how they can save money and how they can not pay taxes or pay less taxes and how they can really raise the prices on a lot of these goods that they bought for next to nothing probably. And they're charging us because you know what? They can. And if you're willing to pay that price, then they got you. All right. On controlling the supply chain costs, I think they're quite interesting. They have this technology called VizPick technology that was rolled out to our associates across U.S. stores. This tool uses augmented reality to speed the inventory management process, enabling associates to get needed product from the back room to the sales floor more efficiently. But you know what? It still isn't working that well, isn't it? This is not only to save associates time, but also helps avoid missing sales through side counter out of stocks. It's a win-win. In a summary, our business is reliant. So let's break this down. All right. And this is what's going on. Walmart's cut and canceled billions of dollars worth of inventory. What does that mean for me and you? Well, that means you're going to be paying even a higher price for goods that they bought two, three years ago. And they're finally getting all this kind of stuff and getting it put out to these stores between Walmart and Sam's. All right. Now, a lot of this inventory and stuff is going to be old for quite a long time, it sounds like, because they said in this article here that you all can go in and read. It's going to take them two or three quarters to catch up. So you're talking another three quarters of a year. So it won't they won't be caught up probably till summertime next year. So is that when Walmart is going to start ordering a lot of the new products and everything else? And what happens between now and then if for some reason, you know, something else happens and, you know, things get disturbed, things get put out of place as far as things moving across the oceans and uh, things being made. You don't know what's going to happen from time to time and country to country. We do not know where this is all going. My advice to a lot of people out there that are watching this video is you got to stay prepared. If there's things that you need to be buying to make sure that you can be prepared for any type of a downfall, for any type of a situation that's going to be coming around, to make sure that you and your family are safe, prepared, and everything else, those are the products and stuff that you need to be purchasing. Walmart did state that, well... Food is their number one selling product right at this point in time. That's because we all have to have food to eat. No matter where you buy it, folks, you have to have food and you have to be able to eat. You also have to have food put up because what happens if something goes along with the supply chain and with everything that's taking place, with everything that's coming, I would not gamble on trusting anybody out there and that's why I would highly suggest you keep prepping you keep doing what you're doing put away as much food and supplies that you need to keep on hand to keep your family safe prepared and ready for whatever storm may come because we started with a billion dollars that are cut just in Walmart wonder what all the other stores are canceling also. And what are we stuck with? 
the same old products for a higher price. So until next time, folks, I'm telling you, keep your head above water and keep prepping. I catch you all on the flip side. Thank you.